Subtracting matrices is similar to addition, and in order to subtract matrices, they must be the same size. If I look at these two matrices, the first matrix has three rows, and two columns, so we would say its size is three by two. The second matrix has two rows and three columns, so I would say its size is two by three. So because they are not the same size, it is not possible to actually subtract these two matrices. Now, if I just take two completely different matrices, and I'll just use some of the numbers up there. Let's say I have that matrix, and then I just have that portion of that one. Notice, first of all, that both of these matrices are two by two. They have two rows and two columns. And so if that's the case, then I can go ahead and subtract them. Now you can do one of two things. You can either think of subtraction, seven minus nine would be negative two. Or if you wanted, you could go ahead and on this second matrix, you could go ahead and distribute the negative sign to all of your terms so then all you have to do is think about addition instead of subtraction. That's totally up to you. So notice seven plus negative nine is still negative two. Negative three minus nine would be negative 12. That's the same as saying negative three plus negative nine. Seven minus negative three would become positive 10. And that's the same as saying seven plus three is 10. And then finally, negative eight minus six would be a negative 14. So that would be the same as saying negative eight plus negative six. So it really just depends on what's easier for you to think about, whether you leave it as subtraction or you change it to where you're adding the opposite of all of the second matrix. But bottom line is they have to be the same size to be able to add or subtract.